Did you know that Grand Theft Auto is actually Scottish? Keep watching, I'm going to talk about Grand Theft Auto and a couple of other amazing inventions that you might not have known come from Scotland. Scotland is a very small country both by land size and population. We are 0.01 times the size of the United States and our population is smaller than the state of Colorado. There are hundreds of groundbreaking inventions that we take for granted that come from Scotland or from Scottish people. So here's a small selection of things that come from Scotland. Canadians call it a Canadian invention and Americans call it an American invention. Alexander Graham Bell is widely recognized as inventing the telephone, but did you know that he was actually Scottish? Bell invented the telephone while living in the United States, but he was actually born in Edinburgh in 1847. It wasn't until he was 23 years old that he moved to Canada and then about a year later moved to the United States. What I find really interesting is that Bell considered the telephone a nuisance and an intrusion on his real work, so he refused to have one in his study. I can completely relate because I also refuse to talk to anybody on the telephone unless it's absolutely necessary. I love a good sci-fi that's spacey and timey-wimey. Doctor Who, Battlestar Galactica, and Star Trek are all loved in this house, and I'm going to say something that a few of you might find controversial, but Star Trek beats Star Wars hands down every single time, and I will fight you about that until the Romulans start doing stand-up comedy. One of the amazing pieces of futuristic tech in shows like Star Trek is the tractor beam. Now, of course, most people think of things like the tractor beam as being just a cool piece of futuristic sci-fi tech. But did you know that it's actually not theoretical anymore? In 2013 at St. Andrews University, a group of scientists from Scotland and the Czech Republic became the world's first in successfully creating a working tractor beam to pull objects on a microscopic level. I don't think we'll be pulling back Borg cubes from attacking Earth anytime soon, but it is pretty amazing that something like a tractor beam is actually kind of possible nowadays. Now I find this absolutely hilarious considering the England versus Scotland rivalry that some people participate in, but the Bank of England was technically created, or at least partially created, by a Scot. William Patterson was a Scottish trader and banker. He co-founded the Bank of England in 1694 and then moved on to questionable things, for my research at least. Speaking of banks, one thing that's interesting is that the Bank of England, the Bank of Scotland, and the Bank of Northern Ireland all create their own pound notes, which are all legal tender. But some people in England will refuse to take Scottish banknotes for some reason, even though they are worth the exact same amount of money. Like most people nowadays, I don't really use much cash, but about a year ago, if I can find the picture, I'll throw it up on the screen here, but about a year ago, I used an ATM here at my local shop and I got 60 pounds out of the ATM. That one transaction gave me three 20 pound notes and each note was issued by a different country and a different color. So I thought that was kind of cool because obviously that would never happen in the United States. I started my journey with photography over 15 years ago now, so I find this particularly interesting. Now, of course, film photography started out with being just black and white, and even after color photography became available, it took a, quite a while for it to become mainstream or normal because of the significantly higher cost of doing color photography. With that being said, we have Scotland to thank for the invention of color photography. In 1861, Scottish mathematical physicist James Clerk Maxwell created the world's first color photograph. It was an image of a tartan ribbon, and he basically took three different photos of it through red, blue, and yellow filters, and then kind of stacked them on top of each other to create a color composite. Because of this photograph, Maxwell is credited as the founder of the theory of additive color, or color photography. I find this ironic because refrigerators here in Scotland are horrible. And by horrible, the only thing I'm talking about is the size. They're just way too damn small. Now I've been able to partially adjust as the kids got older and I've just gotten more used to the Scottish way of life, I suppose. But for the first couple years that I lived here, I actually had two fridges. And I'm about to buy a second freezer. Um, that one fridge is okay for now, but I really need more freezer space. With that being said, the first artificial refrigeration was demonstrated by William Cullen here at the University of Glasgow in 1748. 
Alexander Cumming was a Scottish inventor. He was made famous for the modern water cistern, uh, water cistern pat patent. And he was also an instruments and watchmaker. Cumming invented the S curve of flush toilets. And this improves flushing capacity, but it also prevents the smells from being as bad. Grand Theft Auto. This is the source of entertainment for millions and millions of people around the world, myself included, when I have time, which is not very often. It was created by Scottish game developers DMA Design in Dundee, Scotland. I do find it slightly humorous that everything you do in that game is stuff that I'm adamantly against in real life, like guns. Um, but I mean, obviously it is a game, not real life. Especially because of its Scottish roots, I really wish they would make a Grand Theft Auto Glasgow. With one small exception, unfortunately it's all been based in American cities so far, and considering we have to wait about 200 years between each iteration of the game, I don't think we'll be calling up Meriwether on the streets of Glasgow anytime soon. And last but not least, the electric toaster. The first electric toaster was made here in Scotland in 1893, and I looked it up, I hoped that this would be the case, but unfortunately the bathtub was not invented in Scotland, otherwise it would have been a match made in heaven. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more content about life in Scotland from an American point of view, please hit that like and subscribe button. If you didn't like the video, then why are you still here? Hit that thumbs down button twice and then subscribe anyways, because I know that deep down you really, 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 really want to.